What's up and welcome to Stacks and Stuff. I hope everybody out there is having a great day today. I first would like to start things off by thanking each and every one of you for stopping by and watching. And if you happen to be new to my channel and you like what you see, consider hitting that red subscribe button down there. I'm going to be making a lot more videos and I always love to have new people along for the ride. So today we're going to be talking about the Mon Liquor Model 1895 Straight Pull Bolt Action Rifle. First, a little background. The Mon Liquor Model 1895 Infantry Repeating Rifle is a straight pull bolt action rifle. It was designed by a Ferdinand Ritter von Monlicker. He used a refined version of his revolutionary straight pull action bolt, just like that was in the Monlicker model 1890 carbine. The model 1895 uses a straight pull bolt action, as opposed to the more common rotating bolt handles used in other rifles. And as you can see, instead of going up and back, it is a straight back and forward motion. The M95 was originally chambered to fire the 8 by 50 millimeter R Mon Liquor cartridge. Between the World Wars, both Austria and Hungary converted the majority of their rifles to fire the more powerful 8 by 56 millimeter R round. The Mon Liquor 1895 was produced between 1896 and 1920. These rifles were used by the Austro-Hungarian Army. They were used all through World War I and continued to see service in Austria, Hungary, and a few other countries post-war. All right, so let's focus on this particular rifle right here. Now, a lot of these rifles did get moved around. They went from Austria to Czechoslovakia, and then they ended up in Bulgaria. And such is the case with this rifle. Now, at some point, somebody decided that it was a great idea to paint the stock that brown color. And that is a shame. A lot of these rifles were built with a walnut stock. And walnut being a beautiful, beautiful wood with a nice grain pattern. These rifles looked awesome with the walnut. But um, yeah, they, they decided to paint this brown color. And that definitely will take away from its authenticity and devalue it in a collectible sense. But besides that, this gun is in immaculate condition. I'm not even sure if this seen any action. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at a lot of these markings, these proof marks and stamps. And that's going to give us a good idea of where this gun has been and where it ended up. So let's go ahead, reposition that camera and get a closer look. All right, we'll start off right here. So we got stamped in Steyr M95. Well, the Steyr lets us know that this rifle was produced by a company called OEWG, located in Steyr, Austria. Now, OEWG produced these rifles from 1896 to 1918. So that gives us a window on when this rifle was made. But there are some other markings here that can narrow down that window, and we'll take a look at those in just a sec. And then we've got M95, indicating model 1895. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look at those other markings that can narrow down the window on when this thing was produced. Okay, now let's focus on the barrel. We've got some markings here and here, and we'll get into the S in just a minute. But let's focus on these markings. 
Can't really make out what's here. This is definitely the Austrian Eagle Crest. And then we've got the number 17. Now, upon accepting these into the Austro-Hungarian Army, they would stamp these with an acceptance date. And that is exactly what this is. It was accepted into service 1917. The full acceptance stamps should read WN with the Eagle Crest and then the date that it was accepted into service. Now this stamp is very faint right here, but I do have an example of a better stamped rifle that I'll share with you right now. Now let's take a look at the right side of the rifle right where the receiver and barrel meet. We've got quite a few markings here. Now this here is the Austrian Eagle Crest proof mark. And this here is a lightly stamped Austrian Eagle Crest proof mark. Now right here is the acceptance mark for Czechoslovakia, the Czech Lion. In 1918, World War I came to an end and Czechoslovakia was formed shortly after that. And in turn, they received a lot of these rifles from 1919 to 1922. Now, back to that S. That S lets us know that this rifle has been rechambered to shoot the more powerful cartridge, the 8x. 56 millimeter round and that conversion was done in Bulgaria in the 1930s a lot of these rifles were surplus to Bulgaria and that's when the conversion took place more evidence that this rifle ended up in Bulgaria is the Bulgarians moved the sling swivels from the bottom to the sides and we've got right there. That is exactly where they filled the hole with a wood plug. And they also like to stamp their bolts with the serial number matching the barrel and receiver. Let's get a better look here. There we go. Serial number being 4401F, receiver 4401. We'll get into this here in just a second. There we go, the bolt. Now the bolt was never originally marked with the serial number. That is something the Bulgarians did. They marked it 4401. Now these bolts would often get switched out with other bolts. And I think they did that to help prevent that. Now the K here, that is a stamp from Steyr. Steyr like to stamp all their parts with Ks. Cool stuff, let me tell you. Now we'll never know exactly when this rifle was made, but we do know it was made sometime before 1917. In excellent condition. We also know this rifle started its journey in Austria moved on to Czechoslovakia, and then made its way to Bulgaria. And now it's out here in the good old United States of America. And that brings us back to the engraving on the left side of this rifle. Now this rifle was imported into the United States by Century Arms International out of Georgia, Vermont. And here is the import number. 
As of 1986, the FTA required all firearms imported into the United States be marked with an importer and an import number. Okay, now I want to show you guys just how it's loaded. It takes these five round clips, not mags, clips. It's a top loader. Pinch the top of your clip, insert, press down with your thumb until you hear that click and it's in. And it also has a clip release button right here. You see it? Press that release and it releases the clip. After the clip is empty, it is expelled from the bottom of the rifle from this slot right here. And there it is. The Mon Liquor Model 1895, made by Steyr. A very interesting rifle and a weapon of World War I. Welp, that's all I got for you guys today. But I would like to once again thank each and every one of you for stopping by and watching. And like I said before, if you happen to be new to my channel and you like what you see, consider hitting that red subscribe button down there. I'm going to be making a lot more videos and I always love to have new people along for the ride. All right, guys, until next time, take care.